If yes. things are going to go south, who better to turn to than Jack Osborne? <laughs> and, uh, Jack. Now, uh, take us in. Uh, never thought that. Well, uh, a new show on Nat Geo. It's called Surviving the Apocalypse. Jack, uh, behind the scenes, making the whole thing happen, and uh, the man who you've brought w with us to yeah. save us all. Absolutely. This is this is Aaron, Hi, the Aaron. star of Surviving the Apocalypse, and it's a TV show that I produced. Yeah. And it, was it something where you are you were? See, I'm like because I'm in denial. Yeah. I'm worry-free. I think nothing will ever happen to me. Well, I look at it like we live in LA. There's earthquakes here a lot. Yeah. And, you know, it's a total plausible scenario that something pretty significant could happen here at some point in our life. And why not just have the least bit of uh, readiness? All right, so Aaron, here's my problem. I do, I have an earthquake kit, all that stuff. But I <laughs> sincerely think, even with all these lights, it would all come around. The world would fall <laughs> around <laughs> you. You'd be standing. Yeah. So wait, I'm, just I'm one of his many right, delusions. I, so I need your help. Well, one thing is, uh, you know, people may have the basic provisions to, say, hold off for a certain period of time, but if you're not efficient in using them, you, you may have bought that kit, you may have never opened it up, right. or probably know how to use that. So what we want to do is inform the public. So during Hurricane Sandy, there's people, hey, we're running out of water, when they don't realize you have 70 gallons of water inside your water heater. Mm. That's drinkable. So it's little tips like that that, you know, I want to spread the knowledge on a global level to help people be at a level of preparedness so if anything does happen, we can restore our communities faster without the government support. What are the basic things that I need right now? I mean, if, if something like a horrible nine magnitude quake happened, what should I have to survive that? Well, that's a good question, but the thing is you can have all the provisions that you need from food, you know, water, candles, but once that stuff runs out, <clears throat> what we bring to the table is you could take your cell phone, I can teach you how to start a fire with it, build a compass, use a signaling device, how to make improvised candles out of vegetable oils and um, roll up toilet paper. How do you know all this, Aaron? Well, um, basically when I, when I got out of the military, I started going to specialized schools and uh, I worked overseas as a, a, a contractor and I was fortunate enough to work with a lot of guys in the special operations community. So when I got out, I started bringing everyone together because there was so much misinformation on the, the internet that these special, my special operations cadre has the ability to relay the information for you to retain it and apply it effectively. So it's the easiest way that I'm grabbing guys from every branch of the, military, uh -huh. the special operations community to create new things and improvise because everything out there has been done in the military pretty much for extreme survival. You know, there always is that phrase, uh, Jack, we should surround ourselves with people who are smarter. Yep. What I think we've done is surround ourselves with people who are tougher. <laughs> of course, that's the only thing I do. I mean, look at me. I gotta hang out with tough people. I'll get my, you know, my ass beat. <laughs> exactly, precisely. Do you, having produced the show, yes. and uh, presumably learning some of uh, Aaron's uh, things, do you feel better? Yeah, well, I kind of, I, it, uh, I came around very early on in the, in the, the creation of Zerp because my roommate was one of, uh, our friends was former special forces and so when when Zert was starting I kind of would tag along and come to the training I'm like wow this is a show and so you know I, I got the team in place and we went and we we shot something we sold it to Nat Geo and you know there it is. the idea cool. and there's always the concept of I've got the generator I've got all the supplies and everything and all that kind of stuff and the guy comes down the street with a handgun and he owns it all well that's yeah. what we like to say on the show it's like yeah. you can have all the the best stuff in the world you can be the best prepper but what are you gonna do when someone kicks your door in and throws you out in the street yeah like well thanks that I never thought of that <laughs> on that, on that so happy watch. note uh, <laughs> we'll tell you that uh, the one hour special surviving the apocalypse Sunday 11 o'clock uh, National Geographic Channel Nat Geo nice to see you sounds great thank you guys thank you